Good day, America. This is J.W. Scroggy, and I'm running for president 2016. I'm here with Mickey Babeski, and uh, he's doing all right. He's been uh, not able to hold his bowel movements lately, and uh, he's gone to the house a couple times, so I don't know. He's struggling, but he's making it with us, boys, and uh, we're going to get through this together. But it's Scroggy 16. I just read the news this morning. There's a couple articles that caught my eye that I want to bring attention to. The first one being Colorado is uh, thinking about letting out 10,000 jailed inmates over marijuana, which I think is a great start for uh, for the, the rest of the country to think about why we put so many people in jail. We're a free country, but we have one of the biggest prison populations. And... Uh, Partly because prisons now can be privatized, where private corporations come and buy a prison and they get money for every inmate, so it's incentive to put more inmates in there. Uh, that's one reason. The other reason is they're putting people in jail for having marijuana and having uh, mushrooms and other kind of drugs that are really just plants, you know. Uh, we got to decriminalize drugs that aren't, uh, even drugs that are harder, cocaine and heroin if you arrest somebody for using that and then you put them in jail i mean you might as well just you put them with gangsters and murderers you know you're gonna throw somebody in there that just likes to get high a little bit there should be a different jail maybe a rehab you're already paying for them to be in jail you might as well pay for them to get help instead of uh surrounding them by evil you shouldn't go to jail for having a plant it's ridiculous it's ridiculous america so Colorado, great move on that front, uh, letting 10,000 jailed inmates out of jail over marijuana. I think that's a great start. So uh, hats off to Colorado. They're making some moves, and they're going to uh, try to free the people. The other thing that I wanted to bring up in the news today that I saw was uh, Secret Servant agents in Amsterdam, three of them got sent home for being drunk the day before Obama was supposed to get there. I just don't understand what these guys are doing. They're Secret Service agents and they're getting wasted. One guy was so drunk, they found him passed out in the hallway of his hotel room. I mean, I've been on spring break and you never found me in a hallway passed out. I mean, that's really drunk. And they're secret servants. They should be there setting up for Obama's arrival, not getting bombed. But the same thing happened down south when the secret service last year got caught with uh, prostitutes, not paying the prostitutes. I mean, it seems to me like these guys don't take their job seriously. I just don't understand how people of power abuse the power and they got put on administrative leave. They should have been just fired right then and there. But administrative leave, they'll probably get paid for the next six months and not go to work. And uh, we as Americans need to think about who our leaders are and how they got there. And it's time we put a real person in there. It's time for Scroggy 16 or another you or another him, another me. I mean, I'm down. I'm down to vote for anybody except Republicans and Democrats. It's time we tell these pranksters that the joke's up and that the people are coming. And it's Scroggy 16, I'll hold the flag for now. But uh, all I want y'all to realize is these people are playing you. And it's time for the people to come up and take control and take down the puppet master. It's time for the people to take down the puppet master. And we have no party line. The people have no party line. These guys, Democrats, Republicans have party lines. They vote on party lines. It's time for the people to vote on the people and forget about these party lines. It is Scroggy 16. I'm bringing the noise, and I'm coming to Washington. In a town near you, Scroggy 16.